Yo, 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 yo. We back. We back. Don't. Grandma's. Grandma's. Let me say this real quick. Wait, let me hear it too. Mm. Mm. What's good, sis? Let's talk. Grand Rising. You already know what time it is. Girl. Can you turn your uh, microphone down, sir? Let me see. Is there an echo now? No. I hear an echo. Oh, Lord. Yo. Hello? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Seems like I hear an echo. Well, do this for me. Just tell your story about your brother. Um, He was my baby brother. Um, He got shot like five times he was going to see his best friend at a store his friend owned a store and the guy i my brother ended up having a fight with the boy in the club the boy that killed him he knocked the boy out for like just always harassing him all the time in front of the boy's boyfriend i'm in front of the boy's girlfriend the boy saw my brother broad daylight in front of a store with a bunch of kids, jumped out of a car with a mask and said, come with me. I don't want to kill you in front of these kids. My brother ran in the store. He shot him down. His best friend drove him to the hospital. He ended up dying. But I was 10 when my mother died. He was probably six. We grew up in a foster home, but with a white woman. Um, she had 18 kids in the house. It was a mansion. We had... Um, basketball court jacuzzi swimming pool we he did i grew i was born in the projects when my mother died my brother had no recollection of the hood but boy when he got to middle school the friends he made the things he did he's like he's wanting to join all these people when he had a baby he had a baby he had a, his son was a baby when he died one of the best fathers you ever saw he his daughter was born with no fingers his, the mother would make her wear gloves so people wouldn't look at her. And he'd be like, no, let my daughter do whatever. You know, don't make her feel in bad. He was a great dad, okay? Great dad. To the point where my niece is, she probably has two fingers on one hand and three on the other, but she can braid. She took after our family gift. Everybody in my family does here. But what was embarrassing was getting ready for a service with my white mother my black family my uncle coming from japan my uncles from california everybody and my 81 year old grandmother like i can't find a picture and i'm like what i go on facebook every recipes ricky recipes i'm like why are y'all putting up those images his kids are gonna be on social media everybody on my whole family is on social media it was so embarrassing i had to use the youngest picture i could find without him with a middle finger and I, it it was it was embarrassing. It was. Hey, listen. Now I'm gonna ask you some questions. You came on. Please don't. God bless the dead. How old was your brother when he was killed? Um, he was 25. How long have you been putting up middle finger pics in every pic you took? Since a teenager. But can I be very very honest? Go ahead. When I was young, because of our upbringing. Everybody, like my hood family, they smoke weed. They drunk. Like, we, I would let him smoke weed with me when he was so young. But I learned, and I felt like I learned too late. You understand? He ended up being a little shyster. Can I be honest? Like, when my, bro my baby brother died, I wasn't speaking to him for maybe a year because he robbed me for, like, $2,000. And I took care of him after my mother died. 
I see I'm not one of those girls like a lot of girls I notice now they have a hard time um understanding a man being with a man I don't my father had all his kids by my mother my mother was a Scorpio I'm a Scorpio and I'll get you a Scorpio but he was fucked up on my mother you understand but I don't have that issue so I was always the motherly person you hungry? You coming? Sis, I'm coming over. I, I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to cook some breakfast. Yo, bring the kids. He walked everywhere with his kids. I was so grateful that he wasn't with his kids when he got shot down. He had the kids more than his own baby mothers. You get what I'm saying? But I felt like a, a little bit it was my fault. And after a while, I realized certain things I can't. I used to, I smoke cigarettes. I'm a hairdresser. I do a lot of kids here. And I've learned that imaging is super, super powerful. Why? I had two little girls. I do kid, I do generations of hair. Like, I'm older. So I've been doing hair, like, for a very long time. So one of my girl's um, sisters, they grew up. And the mother is like, girl, Tanisha, I had to call you. I said, why? She said, because I had um, the talk with my girls they're t they're one's uh 12 one's 13 you're growing up so no boys he's a, i told him at a super young age to run his own business don't be a worker if you have this skill, take to it and make some money so you don't got to ask people for money. He put up a, a picture of a bunch of money. I went to his room, take it down. Why, auntie? Because I made, I don't give a hell. You have boys coming in here, getting their hair cut. You're cutting people's hair in school. Somebody see that, and they're going to rob you. Hence, his, his, one of his best friends, two days later, puts up a whole bunch of money, ends up getting robbed. Imagery. You get what I'm saying? You almost put Can a I target. Some? Yes. Why do you think your brother put up little fingers in every pic ever since he was little? Because of rap music. Because of it wasn't our household. We grew up like we were, we took horseback riding lessons, piano lessons. You get what I'm saying? You did, we weren't allowed to, my foster mother would not allow, we, I didn't even know the hood was two corners away because I was so terrified that you cannot go down here. You cannot go down here. So I didn't know the hood was right there. I was young, you get what I'm saying? But boy, when he found them people, all of a sudden you're selling drugs, you're robbing people, you're stealing. Oh, he was such a bad thief. That was another thing. We don't know how he died. Because I'm the first thing when he got shot, I said he probably robbed somebody. My baby sister said, Tanisha don't say, I'm just saying. I don't know. He's a thief. He's a, he's a he's a thief. He's not playing with guns. He's not doing that. He's no he was known for knocking people out. He was big. He was the baby, but he was bigger than all of us. You get what I'm saying? I'm five feet. He was like six something. But I, I, I just feel like it was the elements around him. And everybody looked at him so different because we had about three good pictures we could use. Everybody had the same. And I've been to so many friends where they have so many pictures. It's like we couldn't even use that because grandma's right there. How do I show his, grand, his kids that? Listen, his son was a baby when he died. The mother brings him to the graveyard to play football. This is like, the, you get what I'm saying? He wasn't even that person. But, oh, from the pictures, you would assume he was, you know? Sis, I appreciate you for coming on here. As you can see, Facebook <laughs> do not want this live. They interrupting it. I, I appreciate you coming on. Love you, sister. I thank you. Thank you. Now, sound gone. We ain't worried about that. Y'all know Facebook.
Y'all see that? Y'all see how Facebook does? Can y'all hear the sound again? It's blinking in and out on my end. I don't know what's happening. But if you can hear the sound, imagine how that feel as a family. Imagine how that feel as a sister. You got to use a damn 13-year-old picture of your brother because he been middle fangling up in every fucking picture. Imagine the mentality of somebody walking around. Y'all don't understand this. Y'all don't understand the mentality. A picture is a happy moment. Nobody takes a picture of a person in their saddest moment ever. So if my name is Javon, and I'm in the house, in a happy house, I'm in one of my happiest moments. I'm at a party, we having fun, and they're like, yo, Jay, take a picture, smile for the camera, and I'll be like, I'm a low life. I got a certain mentality. When it's time to say, with 99.9 thousand percentage of the world said, cheese, smile, happy moment. Cheese, smile, happy moment. This is something we want to save forever. It's a great time. Something great happened. <coughs> Javar. <coughs> Javon, pose for the pic. Everybody else in the pic smiling. I've seen pics, seven, eight black boys. Everybody middle finger up. Everybody going to the camera. I've seen pics, the kids got the light up. Wow. I've seen pics, seven, eight grown men, nine, ten grown men, five little boys in the pic. And everybody got their gun pointed at the camera. Why are we like this? It's no different than the period challenge. Hey, we have surpassed gays and yammy. Gays and yammies have more respect in class. Child, can you create a new way to show my ass? Girl, it's the P. What you mean? Say period. Show my ass. Some of these girls' ass don't even stick out. They done put one leg forward and, and turn to the side. I ain't got no ass. They done put one leg forward and turn to the side. Pictures. Pictures. That's going to be in online forever, 10 years from now. Black woman, y'all. So this, this way we at. You take a picture of a black woman, a black girl. Girl, let's take a picture. Shit, come on. Kissing at each other. Of course your mindset fucked up, Dante Searles. You young, bro. You don't understand. You don't understand where your head at. Let me see, can I bring the young brother Dante in? And, and this would be a good thing because he could tell me where did it come from. He's a younger brother. He said he'd been doing this shit for years. Where does it come from? Subconsciously, you would rather be remembered as fuck you. You would rather be remembered as gun. This is a happy moment. Smile, what's up? Fuck it, man. Man, yeah. This ain't no fuck the world moment. Your mindset is fucked up because you always thinking about the worst parts of life in the happiest moments. We smoking. We got holes in the studio. Right. We don't, don't fuck. Everybody got money in their pocket. Everybody happy. 
Dante, yo, we about to take a pick. Gunshot, gunshot. Dante, we about to take a pick. Now, brother, where did you where did you pick up putting up a middle finger, or are you saying gunshots? Which one you saying you do all the time? Middle finger. Okay, how old are you? I'm 35. 35. How long you been doing the middle finger shit? Shit since forever, man. So we since might not be able to find a picture of you without your middle finger up. Oh, no. Nah, I, I, I don't do the internet for real, man. I ain't no pictures of me up, man. No, I'm talking about you, you saying you... I'm talking about the pictures of you with your homies. I'm, I'm not talking about pictures on the internet. I'm talking about if we went through pictures looking for a picture of you, you, you say you've been doing that shit forever, right? Yeah. Right. So the pictures of you that's not on the internet, you got your middle finger up, right? Basically, yeah. All right, break that, break that down to me. I ain't trying to clown you, bro, because you know I fuck with you. You know we fuck with We've been Facebook you know, friends basically, for a minute. Like, ever since I've been coming up, it's been fuck everybody. If you ain't with me, it's fuck everybody. And it's, it's just been like that. You know what I'm saying? And like, do you, you understand? Understand? Let me ask you something. If, 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 now, now watch this. I know this. Now, let me yeah. break something down to you. Watch this. Watch this so you can see what I mean. This means if you ain't with me, fuck everybody. And we right. know this. So when I see you, and I think the same thing. If you ain't with me, fuck everybody. Now you see how we can look at each other so easily and say, fuck you, you ain't with me. It's right. a mentality. Fuck everybody, goddammit. Fuck anybody that look at this picture. Fuck them. Right. Now. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's shame. And see, this is the thing, brother. I'm so glad I could bring you in because you 35. I'm only 42. You see nah, what I'm saying? I'm, 30. I'm, 30. I'm 34, man. I turned 34 yesterday, man. Oh, happy birthday, fam. Happy birthday. Brother, oh, let man. me say this. I'm going to send you a 50 buck cash app. Put your cash app up. Because I'm going to be real. First of all, it's your birthday. Second of all, for you to come on here and be a man and just say this, it's some real shit. Because it's a fucked up mentality, bro. Yeah, like for real. I ain't going to lie. Like for real, I be wanting to be getting along with niggas, but niggas just don't be acting right, bro. So it's like, I be like, yo, I be trying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying, but it's like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck them. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm putting that shit off. Like, if it ain't helping me grow, fuck it. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, man. It's so just, let me ask you something. If you and your mindset is like, fuck them, do you think you walk around smiling with a happy face? Where people, oh, where nah. do you think you welcome? Or, or do you think you walk around grilling like everybody else? It, it keep my shit on a swivel. It keep my shit alert. If I was always happy, then I'm off guard. I'm going to be real with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I'm walking around, shit, I'm like, I'm just on some old shit because I got to watch nigga. Yeah, I got to watch real. Yeah, Because it protects you. It keeps right. people from approaching you. But watch yeah. this. Watch this. I got a concealed carriage permit. Right. And I walk around smiling at everybody. And I'm so ready to draw down on a nigga just like you. But how we look and our grill attracts a certain energy. So when you walk in the club, you a handsome brother, you got some nice locks, you might walk in the club with your fresh shit on, and when you walk in with that grill, instantly, Ten niggas have got your attention. Right. And, and and you got ten niggas' attention. And now it's like, instead of having a good time partying, what do we start doing? We watching each other. We yeah, looking yeah. for the hot head yeah. nigga. We yeah, know who the fuck niggas is in the spot. You see what right. I mean? So what I'm simply saying is, it's a mentality that started from a simple hand gesture. Just middle finger up, hand, middle finger up. And we done middle fingered up so long that we walk around now like fuck everybody. Right. Yeah, and man. I ain't saying it's right, why. though. Go ahead, brother. I ain't, I ain't saying it's right, though. No, I know I'm saying, you ain't saying it right, brother. It's, it's ingrained in us. And it's like, 
know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, we programmed to hate each other. I don't want it to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love black people more than anything in this world. I want us to prosper. But it's like, we don't want to see each other grow. We don't want to help nobody. We don't, but you know my brother? I don't got no cash app, bro. I don't need no money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you I'm good. Gonna... I was going to shoot you a cash app shit. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to buy me a sack on you for your birthday. I'm a real nigga. I ain't get shit for my birthday. That's how real I am. But so look, let same... me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this. I'm a real let me hold, 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 hold. Let me ask you this. Word. You know me through Facebook. Right? Watch right. this. Watch what, I'm, watch, watch what I'm trying to show you. You said you ain't get nothing for your birthday. Right. That can't feel good. That's just me, my nigga. That's but no, 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 look, brother. Let's talk. It let's talk. We good. brothers. Bro, I'm going to tell you something. For some reason, I never got a birthday cake when I was little. I don't know how I missed that. But let, let me explain. My mama bought me a bike for my birthday. My mama bought me Nintendos. It wasn't like I was poor, but somehow I never got a cake. And that shit always bothered me in a way. Now, Facebook is a platform when my birthday come, one thing, I like all them birthday posts. That shit make me feel good. I ain't gonna front. But listen, brother, this, this is what I'm trying to say. Black man... I'm a black man. We be talking to each other on Facebook. I know right. you ain't poor. I just was gonna shoot you a 50 for your birthday. You I said you don't no even want this shit. No, Can you see the mentality? Can you see the mentality, bro? Can you see it? Hey, hey, right. Dante. I, hey, look, what's the first thing I text you when I um hit? I said my mind said fucked up. And I ain't, I'm not the one to sit up there and lie about the shit. Like, I don't want shit from nobody. Like, that's just me, bro. No, I'm saying I know, I know, I know, I know. But listen, listen, what I'm saying. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm saying one day, as a black man, we all may be in a position where we need to call somebody and say, "Yo, bro, I need to talk," and that can right. keep us from going over the edge. Right now, you saying if you was in your worst state in life. You wouldn't even call a motherfucker. You would just deal with it, right? That's what you're saying, right? I do that anyway. I deal. I dealt with. My, that's what people don't know about me. Yeah, people on like yo. Yesterday, you know what I had to deal with? People on strangers giving me more love than my nobody from my family call. Nobody from my family text. Now that shit hurt. Like now, like them niggas is dead. They don't even know it. Like them niggas is cut off of me mentally. Like no funerals I'm going to. Nothing. So I'm like on some shit like, it's just me. You feel me? And that's how I look at the world. If it ain't helping me personally, it's fuck everybody. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, my mindset might be fucked up. Dante, Dante, now, Dante, you know don't take this the wrong way, brother. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. If I'm a white cop and I stop you and I see you looking like that, I'm going to pop you, bro. You really look like you don't give a fuck about nothing right now. I don't. I never have. You see what why? I mean, Dante? <laughs> brother, brother, let I'm me tell you something, why. brother. Because nobody never gave a fuck about what the fuck I thought. Nobody cared about my feelings. Nobody gave a but fuck Dante, about But Dante, Dante, watch this. I'm trying to shoot you a... Hey, look, 50 bucks is, is, is four packs of cigarettes. I'm trying to shoot you a gift, fam. I'm trying to reach out to you. Even if I wanted to, I don't know how to receive it, my nigga. You I like know, that? but I'm trying. But see, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You just put your cash app up and let these people give you what they want to give you. I don't have a cash app, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I ain't realize you didn't have a cash app. But uh, I don't you got a PayPal? That's told you, I ain't with that internet shit. I'm, I'm if you look at me in my page, I'm off the radar, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a normal person, I'm just living life. I'm not with Dante, you're not life. normal, bro. Dante, you <laughs> full of hatred, fam. You ready to, hey, Dante, if a motherfucker look at you the wrong way when you go outside right now, he might have some goddamn problems, right? Right, he gonna catch it. You see what hey. I mean? He gonna catch it just cause this. I just look at it like this. This don't disrespect me. Like yo, I'm cordial with everybody, but long as you're not on no disrespectful shit, 
No, I'm saying like I'm cool. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, if you ain't hurting my family, like my little nieces and shit like that, or whatever, like I ain't on you. But other than that, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't so know Dante, I let me like ask you no something. Power and no shit like that. I'm a cool ass nigga. But I don't Dante, play let's talk, let's talk about the bitches. All right, let's 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 talk about the women. Cause this cause cause when I bring a brother on, I like to talk to a brother. And I don't be trying to, I like to talk. So at this point, you got a girl or, or how, are you cold to the hoes like that or what? What's good? I'm single, man. I ain't doing no relationship shit because ain't nobody taking shit serious no more. It's like everybody wants you to sponsor them or help. You see what I'm saying? And I'm a nigga that I'm, I'm independent. I don't want for shit. You see what I'm saying? But the bitches that I be running across, they ain't no good for me. You see what I'm saying? It's just like they just take, 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 take. And I'm tired of getting it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm on some me shit right now. And I ain't sparing nobody feeling. Straight up. It is what it is. And you know what, brother? What What's so crazy? I've never been talking to a woman on the timeline. See, if, if, if I was having a conversation with a woman, I could somehow get to her. But the difference no, is, I know I can't I'm, get to you because, 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 bro, I was feeling like, like you felt that one respect time respect and I had to get to I myself. Tell them, I tell, I'm just like you. I don't sugarcoat shit. If I don't yeah. fuck with you, I, I will let you know. I ain't none of this. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to lead you on. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to just call it for what it is. I'm not one of them type niggas. I'm not no grease ball. I might be an asshole. But I'm not no greaseball ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? And let me ask you something. I, I'm going to use these words, and I want you to say yes or no. Do you consider yourself a walking time bomb? Of course. Thank you for being honest, brother. I love you. I appreciate you for coming on, man. I don't give a fuck. Like, no, I'm, a real, I'm a real one, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. That, that's the point I'm trying to make to the audience. They don't understand as black men, we are walking time bombs. Like, look, I be cool. Word. Just don't push the wrong button. That's <laughs> it. It's just certain shit I'm not gonna go for, and it's certain shit I can let slide. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't just about to explode for no reason. It's always gotta be a cause and effect. It's never for no reason. You see what I'm saying? Because that's just senseless. But you know, in the black community, a cause and effect could simply be a grill. Just the wrong grill. Yeah, you could look at a nigga the wrong way. He could take it the wrong way. And, and, that's, why I, and that's why I mean, now, what I learned early, I'm 6'6", 270 pounds. I can't right. grill people. The second right. I give a nigga a grill, he gonna, he gonna pop me. Niggas don't even look at me the wrong way. Yeah, if 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 I give a nigga a grill in the street, he gonna pop me quick. That's why I'm a big jolly nigga. I walk around. What's up? and I'm always what's up, fam? What up, bro? What's up, fam? What up, bro? Hi, what up, yeah, fam? I, I what's good, fam? Y'all good, you, fam? You, you Everything can pee good, fam? Wise, though. Huh? You can pee vibes, though. I'm just saying, you can speak and be cordial and shit. You can speak, but you can pee vibes also. Yeah, vibes. and guess what? The number one vibe is. When I see a nigga grilling, I duck you. I'm gonna get away from you. Matter of fact, I don't like smiling. I'm gonna be look, I'm gonna be real with you, man. My parents ain't give a fuck. They take me to the orthodontist when I was a kid. I need to get braces and shit. My teeth fucked up, so I, I got a big gap and shit. So I don't be smiling. I ain't with all that. I ain't no pretty boy ass niggas. Know what I'm saying? But I keep my shit clean though, straight up. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, bro. Look, real talk. I appreciate you coming in, man. Because nah, I'm just fucking around, man. I'm just fucking around, man. Huh? I'm not, I'll say I'm just fucking around, man. I'm on I'm on the same level you on, man. You know yeah, because I, 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 I was about to say, I think you just high and you just fucking off, nigga. Cause you smiling like a mother. You might you damn near smiling at me too much, nigga. I said, this nah, nigga man. front. This nigga, this, look, uh, this nigga ain't sad. This nigga talking shit. Yeah, you know it, man. Shit, nah, but bro, some of that is real. Some of that is some of that is fucking off. Yeah, that's that good. That's that good save. But look, I appreciate you coming in, man. And I love you, yeah, bro. Man. And look, real talk. Some of that shit is real. 
Start Anytime. accepting the love, man. You go. It's it's just take a little love from the world. All right. You be I'm good, trying, man. man. But it's just so hard because you don't know what's real and what's fake, man. So it's like you only want it if it's organic. Like I only yeah. want fake shit around me. That's just me. And then like yeah. I cut people off when I feel fake shit. Like, I don't give yeah. a fuck with how, how much you think you know me or whatever. If I feel like that shit fake, that shit getting cut the fuck off. Well, let me let, let me say something, brother. And this is one thing I say about me that I like. I'm glad you like me. I know you like me because I done tried to get you off this motherfucker about five times. And every time I say, all right, dog, I'm going to let you off. You go right back to goddamn talking. So yeah, I know you good, bro. You know, hey, you have a happy birthday, you fam. Got, Enjoy you your day, bro. You always got some good shit to say. So I be, yeah, I be on your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, you always got some good shit to say. That's why I be fucking with you, man. I know you trying I to kick me I appreciate you, fam. Look, look, I already told you. I don't even know how to get the fuck up off here, even if I wanted to. How you get... Oh, I'm about, hey, look. I'm about to get your black ass off of here. Look. Beep. Beep. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes, though. <laughs> it's that easy. Beep. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, yo, it's crazy because uh, I'm an inbox the brother. I could I, I could tell some of that shit was uh, some of that was being funny because you know that brother that I ain't gonna say he look up to me. That brother be on my page. We be talking. I know that brother love and respect me. I love and respect him. Some of it was putting his guard up, you know, he owned the live. Some of it was putting his guard up. But the more we talked, the more you could see he was smiling. I don't smile. You can see a big ass gap. I don't even smile, nigga. I don't even like motherfucker, you smiling at me like goddamn Danny Lee. So uh but he's a perfect example of what I'm trying to say. We are walking around with a grill. And that middle finger that comes up, it's really a front, if you really think about it. I'm at the party. Yo, give me a drink. Oh, I'm having fun. I got a bitch on my lap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, a yo, Jay, smile for the pic. It's really a front. It means I think I have to be like this all the time. It's a definite front. Because when you're in a picture, that's the happiest moment in your life. Yo, I'm with my sisters. I'm with my cousins. Hey, we're the family union. Woo, woo, woo. It's a front. I'll give you a perfect example. And when I mean it's a front, I don't mean he's front. You actually have to work harder to be mad. You actually have to work harder and it hurts yourself. It's like me taking Chris to a restaurant to get her her favorite strawberry colada drink with the black salt. And we get to the restaurant and she upset about something and the waitress said, can I get y'all some drinks? I said, yeah, let me get two of the strawberry coladas with the black salt on it. And she wants to show that she's upset. So she said, oh, I'm fine, waitress. I'm not having a drink tonight. Instantly, I'm like, you ain't having a drink. We come here because you like the strawberry colada with the black salt. You ain't having a drink tonight? Are you kidding me? Then I said, oh, well, let me have, give me two of them. I'll fuck both of them up. That's how I am. And I set it right in front of them. It's cold glistening. I fuck one up, then fuck the other one up. So you really have to work hard to be mad and sit there and say, I'm going to act mad. Chris, I need to use your charger, baby. I'm going to act mad. You know, to act mad, to say, I'm going to be able to sit here and watch this man drink that whole cool, drink that whole cool drink. Because I want to act mad. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to drink that motherfucker nice and cool in front of you like I don't give a damn. It's hard to act mad. You know that? That's why there's no peace. You can't be comfortable acting mad. 
You know what, sister? I'm mentoring men and women right now. That's why I come on these lives. I come on these lives to mentor. And for people, I'm mentoring grown folks right now. One of the best things that ever happened in the world was for y'all to see that brother sit there and express himself. And no matter how he tough he looked, and no matter how tough he talked, he looked like a four-year-old little boy. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm going to do a, a whole series called The Little Girl in Me, The Little Boy in Me, and then I'm going to do a series called The Bitch in Me. He looked like a four-year-old little boy sitting there saying, my family ain't call me, my friends ain't call me, ain't nobody my friend no more. I don't give a fuck about nobody, never again. He looked like a four-year-old. He was hurt. He was hurt. And guess what? He was so hurt if he walk outside right now and a motherfucker like, yo, what up, man? They could just say, yo, what up? And he like, yo, what's good? What's good, nigga? Nigga, what's good? And somebody popping off. He told you. He feels like a walking time bomb. He told you. Since he was young, his pose has been, if you ain't with me, fuck you. That means everybody. And this is the perfect time, like the pastor of the church, to pop my cash app up here because the sister recognizes what I'm doing. And see, I'd rather do this on Facebook or in a private group than to discuss the Beyonce show. I'd rather do this on Facebook or in a private group th than to uh, talk about the Lakers playoffs. I'd rather do this in a Facebook or in a private group than to talk about some old crazy dumb shit. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to reach our people. One day, a video like this gonna strike lightning. It's gonna catch viral. Somebody gonna look up one day and say, damn, that video right there was dope. I done had a sister on here. Y'all don't realize what happened. Y'all don't realize what happened today? I had a sister on here. Basically, I made the video because I was saying I was disappointed with the brother putting his middle finger up with the tennis champion. And how as we as black people walk around putting our middle finger up in every pick and putting a gun up in every pick because we, 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 we destitute, we angry, we sad. So in our happiest moments of our life, we say, fuck the world. I'm in Six Flags with my family. Yay! Take a pic, Javon. Fuck the world. I'm in Six Flags. I'm at the family reunion having a good time. Middle finger up. I'm taking a pic with all my cousins because my grandma died. Middle finger up. So black men, we walk around projecting how we feel inside. So basically, one of the brothers, the sister come in, the sister come in and said, my brother, every pick he took, he had his middle finger up. And when he died, I couldn't find a picture of him without his middle finger up. She said he got shot at 25. But she also said in the process of taking pics with his middle finger up, he used to knock niggas out and rob niggas. Now, when you walk around knocking niggas out, robbing niggas, his own sister said she hadn't spoke to him in a year because he beat up for two rats. So that mentality... Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. Middle finger up in every picture. I'm at my sister's house. She got two racks right there. Oh, well. Just fuck everybody that ain't with me. Just fuck everybody that ain't with me. So this man, she put a picture of this man up when he was little because every pic says fuck you. And then I had a brother Say, you know what, Javon? Now that you say it, I, I'm 
been doing that shit in every pit since I was young, and I'm 34. And the universe just so make it happen that yesterday was his birthday, and he showed you why he like, fuck everybody. So y'all don't really realize what just happened today. Y'all don't realize how big of a proof that I'm right. But I never seek to be right. Because if I come up here, I'm already right. I ain't talking about nothing that I ain't already right on. If I ain't already ready right, I ain't going to talk about it. I remember that. I remember you said that, Lorenzo. You said your sister took you. You actually took a picture. You posted a picture. You said my sister took me to Walmart to take a nice picture for my obituary. And I don't know you and your sister relationship. But you don't think about taking an obituary pic unless you done thought about your brother dying and you done thought, I ain't got now a good picture that I can put on my brother's obituary. Let me take him to Walmart. And I remember, I think if I remember correctly, you took a picture with her behind you and then she took, got a picture of you by yourself. So we have to understand, man, our women are worried about us. When our women see us walk around, it's somebody in Dante's family worried about him. Our women are worried about us. They looking at this shit. I ain't got now a picture without my brother without his middle finger up. He out here damn... Middle finger in pictures mean you middle finger in the lifestyle. Again, listen to me. Have degrees in this shit. We happy. We four men playing poker. I remember everything, brother. I love you, brother. I watch your page. I love your daughter. I watch your page, brother. You are like my brother. I watch you. I remember everything you say about your life. I remember everything, everybody that follow me. I love the people that follow me. We have to understand our women are looking at us and they thinking we is going to get taken out. They worried all the time. Why are we playing poker, having a good time, and this all you can do? I don't allow that shit in my circle. We in here playing poker. We in here with some strippers. We had the whole house for the fuck. Yo, Enzo. Mm. Yo, Mike. Mm. Shit already accepted the fact. She done put insurance policy on your black ass because she like, somebody might as well get paid off the motherfucker dying. Y'all see how Facebook do me. What I'm trying to say is, why in your happiest picture moments, you such a low life mind? In your happiest moments, come, let's drink, baby. I'm with you, Deshaun. In your happiest moments, only thing you can say is think of is fuck.
Facebook don't want this live to go. My man, Baron Xavier, my man, Baron Xavier, we, we ain't trying to be cool. I'm like, yo, I got Baron Xavier in the house. He's snapping pictures. I'm snapping pictures. Every time you see me, me and Mike in Columbia, I go to Memphis. Anywhere I go, I see my man Pope Irie. I be, what's up, baby? Woo! Yeah, I be on my deck. We 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 eating steaks and shit. Take a picture. Yo, I'm where I be. Hug my brother. Smile happy. I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm with my brother. So I put my arm around him and give him a hug. What's up, bro? I'm happy. Or oh, I fist bump him. I don't instantly take this attention from the brother to love. If me and Lorenzo in a pit together, when I meet Lorenzo and I post a pic, when I meet Deshaun, when I meet uh, anybody, when I post a pic with them, it's going to be, look, black man to black man, face up. I'm with my brother. Love. Y'all look at this black unity right here. Look at his fist to my fist. Look at his hug. I'm not going to take the spotlight and say, fuck him. Who gives a shit about Lorenzo? Look at me. I want you to know that my mindset is fuck the world right now. I'm in a picture with my brother, and I should be enjoying this happy moment of meeting and communion, but my mindset is fuck the world right now. It's a low life mentality, baby, and that's why you're always hurt. And if you don't understand that, people, my girlfriend just won one of the biggest tennis fucking tax. Look, he made one. Look at that. There you go, bro. Take this love. Let me send my boy this sticky boy real quick. Look at my boy. There you go. That's what you do, bro. That's the first step. Let folks love you, fam. Let folks love you. I want you to get you a, a, a four pack, five pack of them new posts. 50. I'm going to send him 55 so to make sure he get 50. Look at that, brother. And one thing I know is this. When you come on my live, you're going to listen to reason because that's just me. And you a man. You ain't stupid, man. Take this goddamn birthday gift. Apex Tay. Apex T-A-Y 757. Oh, man, you in Apex. You close to me, bro. If, 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 if. Are you in Apex, North Carolina, bro? If that's the case, uh, they say mentor him. Shit, you in mentor distance, nigga. You, you up the street from me. Shoot that brother that love, man. Take that motherfucking love from us, family. You know how hard it is to get that love? Look at that. Apex tape. Shoot that brother that 50 boy. You see it say, cent 55 will be deposited to Searles. Now you got to accept that payment. Yeah, man. And, and my man Darrell said, I'm hurting. I'm going to send you some just because. Send him a goddamn 50 cent, a dollar. If there's 85 people on here, send him a dollar. That's 85 bucks, man. Y'all, we got to love each other, man. I, I think people don't realize I'm trying to start something. You come on this live and, and, and you talk some real sense, and it's a moment, man. It's a moment, brother. So I'm happy. I'm happy that that brother was able to lower his guard and stop saying fuck everybody for a minute and able to say, I'll make a cash out and, and, and take the love. That's what happens in the world. It's so many times and opportunities that love is right around the corner. Happiness is right around the corner. That thing that you need is right around the corner. I tell my sisters all the time, they say, well, don't no man want me or no man. And I'm like, sister, you mean that if you, you take misery, people can see it on you. Walk out in the world and smile. 
Y'all ain't heard that song big and say, was she green? I'm in game again. If you don't smile, you ain't inviting no man to your face. See, a smile says, you can talk to me. I'm approachable. We don't care how pretty you are. We don't care how fine you are. If you walking fast, you can't smile. That don't say inviting. That's not inviting. I tell, I tell Chris and Lynn, we be, we be, we be making uh, music videos and making our videos and they be doing little shit. I say, yo, y'all 45. There you go. My man say he got a tear in his eye. That's, that's, we, we do know, brother. We know you was hurting. And it ain't about no fucking money. It's about the unity. It's about communion. Fuck money. But I'm the type of nigga, I would never say I feel sorry for a person. I will help a person. I don't want your sorrow. Sorrow mean I'm past. Sorrow mean I'm past help. I feel sorry for him. That means I'm past help. You think I'm gone. Help me. Learn and trust each other. That's all we need. Don Roberto said, that's, I say I believe the way you fix the community is just, I open my house and have a cookout. Just keep doing it. All these small cookouts over the city, they get bigger and bigger every Saturday, every Saturday, every Saturday. Four long motherfuckers on the east end. You know how niggas like the front. Shit, look, we gonna roll over to the south side cookout with our cars and our bikes and show them niggas how we do. Yeah, the first week is a little, uh, before you long. Oh, that Clark Sisters album is out, brother. Let me go ahead and put that on the timeline for you now. For long, niggas like, man, ain't no need to beef, man. See them niggas at the cookout. For long, south side niggas is, is, is battling east side niggas doing wheelies and motorcycles. Who got the baddest cars? Who can, who can raise the most money for the book bag? Yo, we the south side boys. We, 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 we popping wheelies out this motherfucking giving away money for cook bag. We stunned for these hoes out here. South side, south side of Durham, baby. And the east end, like, nah, east end, baby. We out here, we popping higher wheelies. Niggas going to stun and we going to have our competition like we supposed to anyway. But the love and unity, block parties, man, stuff like that. Greensboro, man, I'm in Durham. That's an hour from Greensboro, bro. And I might have to start doing it, opening my home to local brothers, local brothers. You want you like that brother from Greensboro, Randall Taylor, that brother right there from Apex? I gotta open. I'm gonna open my home. Open, open my home to brothers, and brothers see it happening. They see it coming together. We act like you gotta be a mason or fraternity to meet with the brothers. Now, what y'all meeting for? Smoke a little reefer, we're gonna play some spades, talk to each other. That's it. Smoke a little reefer, drink a few, few brews, play some spades and talk. That's the mission. Girls, what y'all gonna do? Drink some wine, play some cards and talk? <laughs> drink some liquor, play some, have some cards and talk. And in that process, in those conversations, it's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. Before you know it, you're going to say, man, let's bring the kids out, man. Man, we've been sitting here smoking these cigars, drinking this liquor, man. Man, I'm ready to meet your family, man. You got kids? You got kids, bro? Now, once y'all done met each other's kids and you're hanging out, for long niggas said, man, bro, you made that pie? Yeah, man. Man, you made that pie, bro. Yeah, dog. Man, you bullshitting. You had bought one of them last week, and you bought the same thing this week. Yeah, I make these pecan pies. Bro, you ought to do something with this. What, man? I just make these pies, man. I, 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 I'm a construction worker. I ain't trying to have no pie business. But, bro, I've been fucking with you six months at the meeting. I know you. I trust you. You're a good man. I believe in you, bro. I, I I got a stack on them pies, bro. I got a stack on them pies. And one nigga like, bro, I might be able to sell them bitches at my church. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how it happens. Jews, Italians, Japanese, they got markets. They 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 don't they don't they don't uh they don't uh what am I trying to say? They don't meet and say, let's have a meeting on the congressional board. They don't they, they don't meet and, and, and have meet. They meet and eat in fellowship. They meet and, and, and have fellowship. And what comes out of it comes out of it. Black people say, yo, let's meet and sit down and discuss police brutality and discuss how we're going to put all our money together and start a community fund. Motherfucker, I don't know you enough to put my money with you. Let's meet, eat, smoke, drink, have a good time. Every week, let's keep doing it. Now I know you're not and ain't at your house. I done been to your house. You got a clean house. I know your family. I see your friends. I know your reputation. After we've been eating, drinking, smoking, fucking off six, seven months, then somebody say, hey, man, we've been down going 20 a week on this goddamn uh, food anyway. Let's go ahead and start up taking up a little donation when we meet, man. We're going to take a little donation when we meet. By that time of meeting with niggas, six, seven months, you kind of know who the leaders of the group is. You kind of know who the finance man of the group. You done been to everybody's house. You kind of know who manages money the best. You know? Oh, this nigga right here, he got a big ass house. He the financial man. Hey, bro, you know, he ain't gonna step up. He gonna be humble. Hey, man, we think about taking up a little money, man. With, you know, I know you got the investment shit. We all done been to your crib. You got the biggest crib. You got the, you look like you got your shit together more than everybody. Man, what, what you think you can do with this little money if we get together, man? Hmm? We, 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 we didn't establish what we got. We got, it's 30 of us now, man. It's 30 niggas, man. We might be meeting just to throw ones and strippers every week. It's 30 niggas, man. Now, look, man, it's 30 niggas in here smoking cigars. Fuck as we keep coming down to the damn Long Beach cigar bar, it's 30 niggas in here meeting, man. This shit can grow. Let's give, we coming in here giving these crackers money and, and drink or giving it. Hey, look, it's 30 niggas in here, man. Let's go 100 a month. And we just going to rent us a little spot. 3,000 a month, we can get us a spot bigger than this shit. Put some, we ain't even going, we ain't even going, what is it? Don't worry about what it is. It's our spot, nigga. We got our own little spot now. We ain't got to meet down here at the cigar bar no more. We got our own little spot. Hundred dollars, bring your own liquor. Now you ain't got to, now you ain't got to get them crackers no liquor. Before you know it, I'm in there frying fish. We in there eating good, nigga. Now all of a sudden, now we're a cult. Now we're a cult. Them niggas in there meeting, 30 niggas, 30 niggas in there meeting and got them a little spot together. And now they are cult because you can't get in. Because you because you won't cool enough. You ain't fellowship with us enough. You can't get in. Hmm. It's just that simple. It don't take a lot. All we got to do is be willing to meet. But in order to meet and talk and chill, you got to come in with your grill off. Take your grill off. Take your, take your grill off at the door. Come in smiling, show your gap teeth. Come in smiling, show your buck teeth, show your yellow teeth. You're missing teeth, come in smiling. Take your motherfucking grill off. Let me take my paw wall off. Let me take my swim thug off right now. Come in there, man. I don't understand what's wrong with us. Black people can't even meet and get us a little private club to bring holes in. Damn. The lowest level of shit. Me, Pope, 
Ten of us. Ten of us. Ten of us. Drop $100 a month. We got us a little $1,000 spot. We share it. All let's get a passcode. Everybody name. At least we got somewhere to fuck around on our wives at. Get us a little spot. $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, 10 of us. Put us a couple of little beds in there. Sheet sets. Get us a little shower in there. We don't even need no shower. All we need is a little sink to wash the dick up before we leave. 10 of us. We ain't even got to get no hotel. Hey, man, look, I'm going to be at the spot Friday night, nigga. So, uh, shit, I'm going to be there, too. You know them hoes don't mind swapping. Yeah, get us a little spot. We can't even do that. The smallest little shit. Then got the nerve to talk about Donald Trump and fucking the Rothschilds and Janice Rumfield or fucking Pelosi or any fucking cracker. My man said, I'm 37. Ever since I started smiling more, everything been falling into place. Went from being unapproachable to the supervisor. Uh, let me know you got the cash out. My 10 goes to starting a spot. Hey, baby, we got to have us a little spot, Jack. Shit. I'm going to talk to my man, Pope Ari Arthur. We going we gonna to work on that shit. Oh, no, we got us a little spot. Then, for you know, we got us a little hunting club, little gun club where we can go out in the back and shoot. Big baby can kick. Big baby can kick. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I feel like this is a dope live. Naturally, I'm going to put this on my YouTube. Y'all be good.